Welcome to our program, The Leaders. I'm Yuli Ismartono from Asia Views. With us today in Jakarta, Indonesia, is Ms. Erna Witular, the United Nations Special Ambassador to the Millennium Development Goal, or MDG, in Asia and the Pacific. Ms. Witular is no stranger to development issues, having begun her career in consumer and environmental activism and grassroots politics. In 1999, Indonesian President Abdurrahman Wahid picked her as Minister for Human Settlements and Regional Development. Today, she had several civic society organizations, and she is currently the chairperson of the Indonesian Biodiversity Foundation. She is also known as a founder of the Partnership for Governance Reform in Indonesia. Ms. Vitula, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Tell me, what is the Millennium Development Goals? How relevant is it to Asia? And what's, what's different from other initiatives in the past? The Millennium Development Goals are a set of goals uh, agreed by governments from uh, the United Nations member countries at the Millennium Summit in the year 2000. Uh, at the time, they signed the Millennium Declaration and agreed to eradicate poverty to open uh, access, more access on education uh, pr uh, for children, yeah? uh, cut drastically ch children and maternal mortality, uh, reverse the trend of uh, HIV AIDS, malaria, and TB, also to provide a better environment uh, for uh, the poor yeah? in slum areas access to water. Yeah, so uh, in short, yeah, it's a pledge to make uh, the world a better, uh, to make a better world for uh, living and uh, get rid of poverty. But what's, what's the difference between this program and other programs in the past? This is accumulation of previous uh, UN uh, summit results. And this is the culmination uh, of that, yeah, where then uh, all these uh, goals yeah, are seen in an interdependent and interlinkage uh, uh, so that achieving one goal yeah, can also be the entry point of achieving the other goals. So the difference is now it's a more, a more holistic an approach. It has a time-bound uh, target yeah, uh, with uh, also concrete uh, measurable targets. Even from a global point of view, it seems colossal, it seems ambitious. Do you have priorities? Yes, each country can have their own priorities. Yeah? Uh, some countries uh, have mm, achieved their goals on poverty reduction, but have problems on uh, maternal mortality, like Indonesia. Yeah? Other countries have HIV AIDS on top of their a priority, yeah, as well as uh, education, uh, gen uh, access uh, to education for girls. Yeah. In uh, some other more advanced countries in the region, yeah, they have uh, achieved all other goals, but for uh, environment, sustainable development yeah, is, is a tough goal for countries to achieve. So countries can uh, have their own priorities based on their own measurement on how far have they gone with all the other goals. So uh, the t determining body is the local government, the, the country government? The country government, national government, yeah. The implementation yeah, is at local level because poverty is at the local level. Malaria yeah, is happening at the local level, yeah, so the implementation are there. But uh, this implementation needs to be supported at the national level, yeah, through more pro-poor policies, pro-gender, environmentally sound policies. Yeah? And that is what uh, the world is sharing, sharing the knowledge, technology, even resources to enable developing countries to achieve that. This is a more intense, a more extensive program. Yes. Yes. Who's paying for it? Well. Uh, there are some goals that we can pay ourselves with our own budget, with our national budget, if we uh, manage it better. Yes, so of course then in incorporated there uh, the good governance, yeah, transparency, accountability. 
But there are also goals that we cannot cope um, with in uh, with our own resources, like environment. Yeah, reversing the environment destruction into environment restoration. Yeah, that we will need resources from outside, and that's why goal number eight is about that. Yeah, goal number eight is about a global partnership, where developed countries pledged. Yeah, uh, to increase their aid. Yeah, to open up more trade uh, opportunity, to uh, give more um, what uh, yeah, debt relief, debt swap, and etc. Yeah, to enable developing countries to pay for that. What challenges do you see in implementing this MDG? In countries, sometimes you have the national figure as good, but you have pockets of poverty, yeah, pocket of malaria, yeah, sometimes in richer provinces, or pockets of AIDS, yeah, uh, in uh, areas more uh, intense uh, with uh, tourism or whatever. That uh, countries have to be able to pinpoint that and be able to tackle that. Yeah, if these pockets of problems. Uh, are because the areas are remote, yeah, uh, have poor infrastructure, so they don't have water, so they don't have access to basic social services. Then it's harder for the country, yeah, to uh, to achieve that, and that's why special attention needs to be given, special resources needs to be made available, yeah. Uh, be it from the country as well from the international uh, community. When you say the international community, is that the U United Nations, UNDP? Well, um, it can be international organizations, yeah, the UN agencies, UNICEF, WHO, UNDP, etc. It can also be special funds that are made for that. There is the global funds for HIV, AIDS, uh, malaria, and tuberculosis. There is also global fund funds for water to enable uh, countries who have difficulties in um, getting clean water for everybody to access that. Yeah. There are also, for instance, special funds for special regions, for sub-Saharan region, for instance, the European community have special funds for that region. So um, this is a time where global solidarity uh, can make a difference that we can really eradicate uh, poverty if we put all our uh, energy and funds and forces there. What about countries, uh, we're talking about Asia now, <clears throat> what about countries who have internal conflicts? How does the MDG figure in those countries? Yes, uh, in uh, conflict areas, yeah, MDGs are more difficult to achieve. And uh, maybe also some cannot be achieved, yeah, but at least basic uh, goals of poverty, of health, of education, needs to be incorporated in peace process, yeah, in peace uh, efforts, yeah, peace negotiations, yeah, uh, achievements of uh, MDGs can be a common uh, agreed uh, act yeah, that can and should be done by uh, development workers uh, in those areas. Yeah. Like in Indonesia, for instance, we do give special attention to um, uh, Aceh, Papua, Maluku, North Maluku, Central Sulawesi, yeah, so that uh, conflict area also reach the services needed to increase their chances of achieving their MDGs. Tell me